Hello everyone. In this video, let's talk about what is scale and what are the different types of scale. Scale means the relationship between the map distance and the ground distance. Or we can say scale means the ratio between the map distance and the ground distance. For an example, in the topographical map, you have seen this is a road. Now you want to know the length of the road. How will you know? You can take a ruler and you can measure the distance from here to here. For an example, after measuring, you have got 5 cm. Now 5 cm means what? If someone is able to tell you that each 1 cm means 1 km. So after that, you can easily tell that 5 cm means 5 km. So the length of the road in reality, it is 5 km. So basically, there are three types of scale. And we are going to cover one by one. First is the statement scale. Now the statement scale is also known as verbal scale because we are going to tell the scale verbally. So we can say one centimeter is equal to one kilometer, two centimeter is equal to 10 kilometer or whatever it is. So it's a very easy scale, but there are drawbacks also there. So one of the major drawback is for an example, if you are not familiar with the unit or you don't know how to convert kilometer into centimeter or even you don't know how to convert centimeter into kilometer, then the problem will arise. So that is only the drawback of the statement scale. Now you also have to find out what is the statement scale or the verbal scale in the ICSC topographical map. So here you can see it is written here. That is 2 centimeter is equal to 1 kilometer. Next, we are going to discuss RF scale, which is also known as representative fraction. Please mind the word. It will be representative fraction, not the refractive fraction. Sometimes you get confused with the science chapters and you write refractive fraction and that time it goes wrong. So there are two rules for the representative fraction. So in this scale, the numerator should be always one. So representative fraction is also known as numerical scale. And here there will be numerator and the numerator should be always one. And the second rule, both the units should be same. So if I'm using the unit one centimeter, so here it will be again 10,000 centimeter. So we cannot change the unit. So that's why this scale is also known as universal scale. So anyone in the world can use it and they can use their own unit. So that is also one positive point of the RF scale. So in your topographical map, you can see it is written 1 is to 50,000. So that will be your RF scale. Now, if I want to simplify it, I can write at first 1 is to 50,000. As I already said, that numerator, that is the 1. You can write any unit. So we can simply write 1 centimeter is equal to 50,000 centimeter. Now, if you want to convert it into the verbal scale, what we can do? We know that one kilometer is equal to one lakh centimeter. So what we can do, one centimeter is equal to 50,000 divided by one lakh. So it will be one centimeter is equal to 0 0.5 kilometer. Now, if I want to simplify it more, we can write 2 cm is equal to 1 km. But you don't need to do these things because that is not there in the syllabus. I just wanted to show that this representative fraction, that means 1 is to 50,000, means 2 cm is equal to 1 km. So both are same. So this is my RF scale and this is my verbal scale.
Now the third one is the linear scale. The linear scale is also known as graphical scale. You will see in the topographical map, a straight line or a ruler kind of things will be drawn. And obviously the numbers will be also written. So you have to identify the scale from this straight line. Let's identify from the topographical map. So this is the linear scale or the graphical scale in the topographical map. There are two divisions. One is primary divisions. So this is my primary divisions. Now what we have to do, we have to measure the distance from this point to this point or this point to this point because both will be same. So you can take any of the distance. After measuring any of them, you will get two centimeter. Now what you have to do, you have to see the interval. So how you will see the interval? You can do seven minus six, you will get one. You can do six minus five, you will get one. So all interval will be same. So you can write two centimeter is equal to one kilometer. So this is the easiest way to understand the linear scale or the graphical scale. Now you are aware of the primary division. But what is this then? So this is known as the secondary division. Then what is the use of this secondary division? In case, if I ask you to find the distance, you can easily tell this is 2 cm. Or 2 cm means 1 km. Now, in case if I ask you to find the distance between these two points, it will be a little difficult, right? So, what you can do? You can take the help of this secondary division. If you notice carefully, the secondary division is further divided into 10 parts. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And each part is 100 meter. Now, in case, if I ask you to find the distance between these two points, it will be not at all difficult for you because you are already aware of the secondary divisions. So with the help of the secondary divisions, you can tell it's 200 meter or 300 meter, whatever it is. So that is the use of the secondary divisions. Now you have to remember, ICC examination is not going to demand to draw a graphical scale or they're not going to ask to convert the verbal scale to RF or even the RFs to the graphical scale. We all have done just to make you understand that all scales are same. Now during ICSC, they can ask you the definitions of these three scales. They can ask you example or even they can ask you what is the RF scale in the given topographical map? What is the verbal scale in the topographical map? Like that. I hope this topic is now very easier for you. We shall meet you with an another interesting topic very soon. Bye.